This is a secure, secure. I call them secure. I ain't got a clue. It's S E Q U I R E. Uh, M S S something or other intelligent soldering iron. Now I've already reviewed their other soldering iron, which you plug directly into a lipo battery or, or you know your external power supply. But this one, this one caught my eye because. I've got a Metcal soldering iron, but I've got no backup. If that breaks, I am buggered. I, I've got so many things that I have to use soldering irons for, like poking my eyes out when I'm bored. <laughs> yeah, MSS-12, Intelligent Soldering Station. I was impressed with their old one, but I thought, I wish they'd come out with one that you don't plug directly into the battery, that it's actually got a control unit that you plug the power into that and you can have it somewhere else with a thin wire to the soldering iron as in something like this they have actually done it and I don't know what this is like yet because I haven't tried it this is the first time I get it out of the box so oh, they give you a stand and everything you can buy much better stands than this and that. that's what I advise this is just to start you get, get you going so if you just put some water in there the sponge should expand a bit yeah it does expand a bit so there's that here's the base station itself that you plug something in does it come with a lead that oh yes it does so it also comes with a lead you plug your power in there and you put this thing oh hang on oh <sighs> So satisfying. Plug it into a power supply, which I'm going to plug into my, my bench power supply. And then you plug this in here and you screw it in. And now you're unrestricted. This could have been a bit softer, but I don't know exactly how this is powered yet. I mean, this is very, very, very flexible. So you're not restricted. This isn't as flexible. But it is flexible and it gives you complete freedom when you're soldering. It's the same size as the Metcal. Metcals are very expensive. If that breaks, I'm stuck. But also, the Metcals have got, um, I think they work on ultrasound. Uh, they work on with the, these tips that immediately heat up. I think they're about 30 quid. These are probably about three. <laughs> so, literally, you plug that in there. Very, very easy. That feels nice, actually. See, it's even got a, a rubber grip there. And that hasn't. I'm going to plug this in and I'm going to see what happens. Reading through the instructions of this, there's so many settings that you can put on this, it's unreal. Bit of dust on it there. So you hold the button in and it goes to all these settings. Um, you can change the compensation so you can, it's a basic calibration. It does go out of these settings quite quickly. You can turn the buzzer on or off. You can change it to um, Fahrenheit if you want. That's the temperature that it comes on at. at 300, it's 300 degrees or you can change that to whatever you want. Start heat, you can change that so as soon as you turn it on it starts heating up. You've got your sleep time that you can you can set, your idle time. With the Met, the Metcal that I've got is just on. It's on all the time and it sits there at full temperature all the time this thing I mean you can see here it's got the percentage that's a percentage of load it tells you what the, what the battery voltage is I've got mine set at 12 volts 11.9 near enough the tip temperature which you can actually you can calibrate the tip temperature you can change the brightness of the LED the what, what orientation it is You've got a low voltage setting if you've got it plugged into um, you know, a light power. Your sleep temperature, so you can change what temperature it goes to sleep at. Just one word of warning, this, this is the, the Metcal and it uses these tips. Now, when you push it in, it just pushes in. There's no feel to it, it's just in there and it works or it doesn't. Now, this thing, when I turned it on, I put the tip in like that as I thought it was a sort of a Metcal. And you turn it on and it immediately throws an error up saying check the tip so you've got to push it until it clicks we'll time how long it takes at 12 volts and then we'll time how long it takes at the highest which is 24 volts apparently the start up time to 300 from 30 degrees which we're near enough at is 37 seconds 300 degrees 3, 2, 1, go
I can confirm that all through that, through the heat up process, it was at 16 watts. And as you can see on there, it's saying 23.9, which is near enough. The heating time apparently to 300 degrees is 9 seconds at 24 volts. 3, 2, 1, go. Sixty-three watts. Oh my god. I'm impressed. It does take a lot to impress me. This handle, I've just run that, I've just given that such such torture. This is a Metcal, that thing does get warm. This doesn't. I wouldn't have given this that much torture. And that's that's pulling through that, no problem. And it's on a piece of aluminium to sink the heat away. Apart from the autonomy part, because the Metcal, as soon as you put heat, as soon as you put that onto a PCB, it automatically heats up. Apart from the, auto, the automation of it, which this can't do, I'd say it's equal to that. You can buy other tips as well. I think the only benefit of having a Metcal is you can get closer to your work. But like I say, that does get off. But that is perfectly, perfectly adequate to get close enough to actually work on things. I was going to give this away, but I'm keeping it, sorry. <laughs> I might start using it, to be honest. I'm impressed. I am very impressed. With all the features that you've got on here, they sell different tips as well. I'm going to go and buy some now. I am. I'm going to pay for some tips. Well, secure, whatever you're called, you've actually impressed me. And it comes in this little package that you can put it away. I'm going to put a link in the description. I do highly recommend these things. If you're starting off, it doesn't matter. Get yourself a 24 volt power supply because that's what you need. I've never actually been impressed that much with a soldering iron because a soldering iron's a soldering iron. My Metcal works perfectly. But that, 